Mr. Terrazano for five, please. I'm Franco Terrazano. I'm with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, and I'm here on behalf of hundreds of thousands of Canadians who demand answers for the $54 million Arrive Can scandal. Why does everything always cost taxpayers more? Who is going to be held accountable? And why is everything as clear as mud? It cost $80,000 to launch the app in 2020. Then in July 2022, Canadians were told the cost jumped to about $26 million. A couple months later, Canadians were told the costs jumped again to $54 million. Then, independent techies said the cost of building the app should be around $250,000. $250,000. Can you see why taxpayers are mad? Every time we turn around, we are told Arrive Can costs more. So who is going to be held accountable? If I told my boss I was going to do something for $10,000 and the actual bill was $100,000, I'd have to polish off my resume. Taxpayers are out $54 million because of the Arrive Can app. Which bureaucrat is out of a job? Which bureaucrat is even out of a bonus? Every year, about 90% of government executives get a bonus. What happened at the Canada Border Service Agency, the Public Health Agency, and Public Services and Procurement Canada. Well, we're going to break some news right here at the committee because we're going to talk about some documents we just got back from an access to information request. In these three government departments in involved in ArriveCan, total compensation paid out to executives increased by $40 million between 2019 and 2022, a 31% increase. The average compensation for these government executives went from $193,000 to $204,000. The Prime Minister himself said the procurement process for the Arrive Can app seems highly illogical and inefficient. So will this committee recommend taking bonuses away for executives overseeing the Arrive Can debacle? Or is the message for next time, don't worry, you can blow through $54 million and keep your bonus because there is no accountability. The Prime Minister's 2021 mandate letter on public services and procurement said it's supposed to be open and transparent. But taxpayers have been left in the dark ever since the beginning, whether that's the actual cost for ArriveCan or the details of who is actually working on the app. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation filed a tip requests on all manners of ArriveCan records more than a year ago. As of October 2023, the CBSA has blown through six deadlines with no explanation. And the records we did get back are riddled with redactions, including hundreds of pages, including redactions. So will this committee make recommendations to improve transparency? You don't even have to come up with the recommendations yourself. Just copy the information commissioner's recommendations. Require transparency for all agencies or companies the government outsources programs to. Stop abusing exemptions to deliberately keep information from Canadians. And for brownie points, implement a sunshine list like the vast majority of provinces. So let's, this, let's put this into perspective. Imagine going to a mechanic. They tell you the bill for a simple fix is 80 bucks. Then they tell you the bill is $2,600. Then you get the final bill back and it's $5,400 and the invoice is blacked out. You'd be outraged. But this is how taxpayers were treated with the Arrive Can app. And we demand accountability. The question for committee members now is, who is going to be held accountable for the Arrive Can scandal? Thank you.